Kia ora, this is a short guide to the changes proposed by QLDC for the Fernhill Town Route. Amanda here, I'm a member of the Lightfoot Initiative. We're a local group advocating for bike, walk, bus routes that will actually work in our communities. QLDC want to hear what you think about their design, so listen up and make sure you have your say before the 27th of January. First up, well done QLDC, there's some great ideas here. I lived in Fernhill for years, brilliant suburb but it's a bugger to get to unless you're in a car or on a bus. By the way, what a cool bus network. Now, some of these changes suggested here, read them quick, or pause if you need to, are fantastic, but here's a few extra suggestions for you to consider before you give your own feedback. The iconic Fernhill Dairy. Yep, I'd like my kids to walk there, but it just feels risky as everyone speeds like crazy on Fernhill Road. Where's the safe crossing points on this map? Where's the zebra crossing? They're proposing a new separate cycle lane. Chuck in a zebra crossing too, so the kids can buy a pop school from the dairy when they're grabbing the milk. Yep, okay, the cycle lane needs to switch sides of the road to access Cameron Place. Okay, logically the safe crossing refuge could shuffle back down the road towards the dairy. And for goodness sake, make the refuge big enough for a bike with a kid trailer on the back. Don't leave us hanging out in the wind here. For people to use this, it needs to be safe. They're suggesting bollard lighting all the way through One Mile Creek Reserve. We think this is brilliant. If you do, then tell QLDC you do too. I've walked this more times than I can count, and yep, on a winter's afternoon, it feels like the Blair Witch Project in there. It is scary, spooky, and just a little dark, even in summer. If you want women and kids to use this without freaking out, then definitely put some lights in. This is our favourite. Thompson Street 2. Hmm, the waterfront, okay. Not particularly useful for the squillions of families who have kids at QPS or in daycare in Queenstown and might like to walk or bike them in. We suggest a Thompson to Man Street connection instead of, or as well as, sending the route to the waterfront. Even Google Maps thinks we're smart. Look, it's only a couple of minutes by bike to the wreck ground. Many benefits and no drawbacks in our opinion. Until you have to bike back up the hill, of course. Now, we don't all own e-bikes yet, but soon they'll become pretty standard. An e-bike would power you back up the hill, no sweat. Um, like, actually, no sweat. Okay, so right now, go right now. Yes, and tell QL to see what you think. We don't care if you agree with us but make sure you have your say because these plans are moving ahead and you'll whinge about it otherwise. So to recap, more large safe crossing points, including a zebra crossing, lighting in the one mile reserve and a route that heads towards the wreck ground and the primary school. Oh yeah, find and like us on Facebook at Lightfoot Initiative to get more posts like this one.